And as we mentioned earlier, the attack in Dayton happened in the Oregon District, an area known for nightlife similar to the short north in Columbus. That's where NBC 4's Dan Perlman joins us live. And Dan, the two areas have a lot in common. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the Oregon District in Dayton is very similar to the short north. Both are popular places to eat, to drink and to shop. They are separated by about 70 miles, but today they are united in green. Christian Mines comes here often. I'm here a couple of days out of the week. But today is different. As she walks the short north, she told me about her sister who lives in Dayton. So she and her friends were about to go to that club. They just talked about it, and they probably missed it by 10 or 15 minutes. We we're sad about the incident, but obviously thankful that she's alive. Thankful, as what happened weighs on a lot of minds here at Standard Hall. The doors are open for business, but that's not to say this doesn't hit close to home here as well. Yeah, it definitely does. You know, it really makes you think, you know, what, what would we do if that happened to us? Austin Shable told me the bar and restaurant staffs off-duty police officers during peak times. They have a large, well-trained security staff, and in light of this morning, they will be reviewing policy with that staff. I mean, we're definitely going to make sure our team is always caught up, always up to speed on exact procedure and anything. We're going to make sure everyone knows what to do in every single situation. And we're just going to make sure everyone stays completely aware, you know, completely vigilant of everything going on around them. Austin believes despite this morning's shootings, the short north is safe. So does Christian. You don't think about things like death or shootings or stabbings or fighting. Like, you don't think those things are going to happen to you. That as she goes about her Sunday thinking of her sister. And again, her sister is safe tonight. I do want to point out, we have noticed several police officers cruising High Street today, keeping a very close eye on what's happening. Local for you in the short north, Dan Perlman, NBC4.